Hello, the We're All Gospel Partnership. I'm Glenn Scrivener. Really looking forward to being with you at the end of March. I think it's the week of the 28th of March. Do book that out in your calendars. Uh, we all want to be on mission together, sharing the love of Jesus. And uh, in the meantime, can I give you a little phrase that you can use in conversations with your friends, neighbors, work colleagues? Uh, why don't we be sharing this phrase and I'll get you to finish the sentence. That's what I love about my church, dot, dot, dot. I think if we are putting that into our conversations with our friends and family before March, it will really uh, help to feed into the mission that is going to happen with Passion for Life. So, for instance, I was on our doorstep just, I, I guess it was two weeks ago, and my neighbor comes out. We've sort of got an adjoining sort of front doors that sort of all both open out onto the same porch. And uh, she smokes a lot, which is terrible for her lungs, but I hope it will turn out to be good for her soul because we end up having all sorts of conversations on the doorstep. And uh, she shared with me how she was on this Facebook group and she had just been made an administrator on the Facebook group and it was a mental health kind of charity and she was a mental health champion. And I said, that's really interesting. What do you have to do? And she said, well, it's really just about being honest with one another, opening up and letting people know they are not on their own. And so what do I say? I say, that's what I love about my church. It really is a community of people where you can be open and honest and share life together. And as soon as I just said that, I didn't have to say anything more than that. But instantly she started asking questions about what about hypocrisy in the church? And, you know, can we really believe in life after death? And off we went and we had a tremendous conversation at the end of which I was able to say, well, why don't you come and visit our church? And we happened to be having a light party. And I said, come along to the light party. You bring your kids, we'll bring our kids, and you'll get to meet some of our church family. And so you get to see how love of church and being a champion for your own church ends up being incredibly fruitful in evangelism. So why don't you use that in conversations between now and Passion for Life in the spring? You say, that's what I love about my church. And hopefully you'll have an opportunity to invite people to church. Obviously, the best thing to invite, invite people to is Sunday mornings. Uh, but why don't we put on a whole week of events that are really easy to invite your friends along to so others can meet your brothers and sisters in the body of Christ, get to experience the body of Christ for themselves and get to understand something of the love of Jesus. So why don't we be doing that and why don't we be praying for Passion for Life in the spring of 2022? Uh, we don't want to get to the end of that week and think, oh, I wish I'd got more excited about this. I wish I'd prayed more about this. I wish I'd invited more friends. Always in these kinds of weeks, you get to the Friday and all sorts of people think, oh, you know, I wish I'd gotten more excited about this on the Monday. Well, We've got a chance now. We've got a chance to get excited about it now. So let's be praying. Let's be praying specifically for named individuals. You know, I, I would pray for Kelly, my next door neighbor, and I would pray for my sister-in-law, and I would pray for my friend who I meet on the street when I walk you know, back from, from school with Ruby. I would pray for those people regularly. And it's amazing how you have conversations with the people who you pray for regularly. Let's be thinking about those three people. Let's be putting that, uh, that sentence, that's what I love about my church, into our conversations. And then we have the opportunity in the spring of 2022 to say, to say, why don't you come on in and get to experience the people of Christ and the love of Christ. So really looking forward to being with you. And uh, let's be praying for the spring of 2022.